can I get a chi hu? <laughs> When Moana premiered, it marked a new chapter for Disney, including expanding on what a Disney princess was capable of and the adventures she could go on. Moana traversed the dangerous and mysterious sea to restore Tefiti's heart while helping a lost demigod find his way. The film's secondary protagonist, Maui, rounded out the narrative by providing Moana with a fun-loving, adventurous, and powerful ally. However, his relationship with his past, abilities, and the gods were all sore subjects that Moana helped him address and overcome. Now that Maui is confirmed to return for the sequel, his story may be far from over. In today's video, we'll point to the signs from the first film and recent trailers that point to Maui's relative becoming the antagonist in Moana 2. It's actually Maui, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, hero of men. I interrupted from the top. Maui, a demigod, was born to human parents centuries before the film's events. Unfortunately, his parents abandoned him by throwing him into the sea as an infant. However, Maui was rescued by the gods, who raised him and granted him supernatural abilities, immortality, and a magical fish hook that allowed him to shapeshift. Despite his incredible powers, Maui's difficult upbringing left deep scars and he always felt rejected by humanity. Maui used his abilities to benefit humankind and earn the love and validation his parents denied him. He performed extraordinary feats such as pulling islands from the sea to provide homes for people, extending their days by pulling back the sun and stealing fire from the bottom of the earth to provide warmth on cold nights. As a result, Maui became one of the most celebrated figures in Oceana's history. As the people learned to appreciate Maui's contributions, he needed to accomplish increasingly impressive deeds to maintain their admiration. He eventually took the heart of Tefiti as his ultimate accomplishment. Maui believed this gem, which had the power to create life, would be the ideal gift for people worldwide. However, after removing the heart, darkness slowly engulfed the world. Additionally, the removal of the heart brought forth the fierce lava demon Teka, who confronted Maui before he could flee. The two engaged in a battle, during which Maui lost Tefiti's heart and his magical fish hook. In punishment for his crimes, Teka sentenced Maui to live in exile, preventing him from communicating with the humans he cared for. Moana eventually finds Maui, and the pair work together to restore Tefiti's heart and recover his missing fish hook. However, before her arrival on his island, Maui seemed to have no contact with anyone, including the gods who raised him. It's possible that Maui's relative and the other gods who gifted him powers respected to cause punishment and believed Maui's sentence was justified, influencing their silence throughout the film. His name was Maui. The only goddess who appears in the film later is Tefiti, who later forgives Maui for his transgressions. Maui expresses remorse to Tefiti for his destructive actions, admitting his wrongdoing and the harm he caused. In response, Tefiti graciously pardons Maui and acknowledges his heroism by presenting him with a new fish hook. Overjoyed to have her forgiveness and his hook restored, Maui parts ways with Moana at the end of their adventure and takes to the skies as an ever-watchful hawk. The ending scene implies that while Maui doesn't interfere with the islanders' lives, he does watch over them. In a way, his new role resembles a hands-off god rather than a demigod vying for humanity's approval. Yet even after Maui makes these significant changes, there's no mention of the other gods noticing or acknowledging him for fixing his mistakes. The absence of the gods feels peculiar, as they are a canonical and relevant part of Moana's world. Everyone knows about Maui's story, as he was once a human taken in by the gods and gifted powers in return. The main antagonist in the film is also Teka, a corrupted version of Tefiti. Initially, Tefiti acted as a goddess of the earth and was able to create life. She used her abilities to make the islands of Polynesia where Moana is from. Although she created the islands, Tefiti seemed to have a hands-off approach to humanity, allowing them to use her gifts without becoming involved in their affairs. In the film, Tefiti appears on Earth as an island. The landmass is created when she lies in the sea, giving the illusion that she was never there. These scenes give the impression that she and the other gods prefer to hide in plain sight, partaking in peaceful, unencumbered existences away from humanity. Maui likely only discovered her hiding place and stole her heart due to his knowledge as a demigod. If the other gods are like Tefiti and don't make themselves known unless provoked, then Matangi may not appear as her true self, but as an angered and righteous version of of who she was meant to be. If Maui once knew her as loving and kind, the recent trailers could be the first sign that something is amiss. Tefiti. 
The appearance of Matangi may have nothing to do with Moana and the call of her ancestors, but has everything to do with Maui and what he's become in recent years. After restoring the heart of Te Fiti, Moana returns home to Matanui, where she reconnects with her family and teaches her people about the forgotten art of wayfinding. From the start of Moana 2, she appears as a seasoned navigator with a crew under her. She may also act as the island chief despite her long journey searching for new islands and resources. Her family has also expanded, including a little sister who lives in Matanui with her parents. The trailers show many things about Moana's life and how she's changed, but close to nothing about Maui. His appearances throughout recent trailers include him appearing on Moana's ship, seemingly after her journey has started. He uses his shape-shifting abilities to remind the audience and Moana what he's capable of, and cracks a joke about Heihei and Pua providing the perfect snack for their long adventure. He may be choosing to join Moana for the sake of old times, but he could also offer a narrative parallel to her story, as if he had remained unchanging in the past few years and could have found trouble similar to when he stole Tafiti's heart. He could be traveling with Moana to hide from danger or to ask her for help. Although the first film gave the impression that Maui's character had undergone significant growth during the first film, especially by the time he parted ways with Moana, it's possible that he may have stumbled during his solo adventures and began embracing his former insecurities. In doing so, he may have taken risks because he believes he has something to prove. In the most recent trailer, Trouble finds him as he stands face to face with Matangi, a goddess shrouded in bats and darkness. Matangi threatens his life, claiming she will destroy him and Moana. However, Matangi's name and role in the film don't match up, hinting at her connection with Maui, his incomplete character arc, and his past. Now I kind of miss the lava monster. Ow! Ow! Matangi translates to goddess of wisdom and divine mother. However, her character from the trailer doesn't seem wise or maternal hinting that her proper form may be hidden behind a new curse and corruption. The trailer mentions a curse that Moana must break to save her people. However, Matangi's true nature and connection to Maui may be hidden in plain sight, and found when researching the gods who inspired Moana's stories. Maui's character is loosely based on a character of the same name found in Polynesian folklore, who is well known as a cunning and coy hero celebrated by his fellow people due to his numerous feats. Some of his accomplishments are used in Moana, like giving the gift of fire. However, there are other characters in Maui's folklore stories, including a goddess named Hina, who is depicted as Maui's wife or sister. Matangi may have received loose inspiration from Hina or another goddess from Maui's stories, making Maui's story in Moana 2 all the more personal. First, we get my hook. Then save the world. Deal? Deal. If Moana 2 becomes a family affair, Moana and Maui may deal with a battle between the gods. Although they are entities from legend and are responsible for the world that Moana and her people call home, their absence from the first film creates a blind spot for the audience as they have no way of knowing what the gods are like, what motivates them, and how they feel about humanity outside of the stories told by Maui. His relative may have returned to question his allegiances or to enact divine punishment after learning he stole the heart of Tafiti. Only time will tell who Matangi truly is and her role in a highly anticipated sequel. You know, it'd be rude to refuse a gift from a goddess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. You could come with us, you know. My people are going to need a master wayfinder.